Okay then, physicists, I'm just going to um, show you just very quickly how the gravitational torsion balance works from PASCO. So um, this one's quite old, actually. It's from 2009. It's quite an expensive bit of kit. Um, but it actually does work really quite well. You can find G to within 5% of its value. Um, what you do is you have a laser beam. We direct a laser beam onto. Hope you can see in there, there's a little mirror. And that little mirror effectively is connected here onto a bar and there's a bar that goes all the way up and it's on a torsion wire so the idea is that there's a little bit of force left or right okay on the wire a restoring force now i've already unlocked it underneath and effectively there's a little ball there and you might see there's a little ball here on a bar and that can wobble around effectively i'll give a little movement here you can see it now moving it wobbles it takes it a long time to settle down now what happens i'll show you part of the instruction manual so the instruction manual shows you an oscillation so there's basically um, a place a position and it does shm about it and you can you can plot that by taking the laser beam uh, reflecting it off here onto a wall to do it nice and safely and you get a position. Now what you do is, you have the balls here. These are really, really heavy lead balls. I mean, they look small, but they are massively heavy. Um, so you have them in that position. And then of course, when you move the balls around, they create a force acting the other way on the two little balls. Okay, and the, like I said, they, they don't look big, but that's that's lead. So I'm, I'm struggling to hold that, it's heavy. Um, so the biggest point with this experiment is just the setup. And afterwards you have to lock again the bar in otherwise you damage the wire so the whole point is if we look at the uh, results that you get that's what you'd see on the screen with the dot so this little red dot oscillates back and forwards for a time it could take about an hour for it to settle down you move it and then you get a different point point. and by working out a whole load of stuff effectively it's pretty complex you can work out g on f so there you go that's pasco's gravitational torsion balance just like Cavendish's experiment, really very cool.